Hi guys, welcome to a new Tool Tuesday. So today I'm going to be talking about some KTC Nepros products. Um, I picked these up from uh, DRPD, it's the website. Um, they are a Nepros distributor that sells direct to consumer. And I ordered these online, they arrived at my house in a couple of days. I'm in California, had a good experience. I'll put some links in the description to DRPD as well as Amazon. The Amazon links are affiliate links, so if you do purchase from Amazon, it does help me out. Uh, but they don't have quite the selection that DRPD does. So I picked up a couple different pieces here to kind of see what the Nepros line was all about. Um, as you may know, I have Tekton, I have Snap-on, I've had um, Sonic, I've had some other brands here in the Improved Garage over the last couple of years. And I just like new tools, I like playing with them. And um, Obsessed Garage was talking about trying these out as well, and I just thought it would be cool to, to get my hands on some and see what, what they were all about. So this is how they are packaged. You can see this is like a, they call this a spinner. Um, you know, there's a, an extension in here. So they kind of come in these individual plastic packages. You open them up and they come out. Um, the tools themselves are nice. So this is a, uh, a chrome finished, uh, this is an NBAE 23. This is a really cool product actually. So this is a spinner, but this is a quarter drive with a 3 8 end on it. So you connect this to a 3 8 socket, you can drive it with a quarter inch ratchet, and it's, it's a short extension, but really it's designed for you to be able to use it by hand and to kind of help the ratchet out if you're in tight spaces or if you're in a place where maybe um, the screw is a little loose and it's hard to just kind of get the ratchet to click back, if you know what I'm talking about there. They do make those spinners in a variety of other sizes. So this is 3 8 This is what they call the 3 8 large. So it's 3 8 on both sides. And it has the larger surface compared to this guy. You can see the, the difference in size there. This is a quarter inch spinner. Same thing quarter inch on both sides and it is roughly the same size as the 3 8 so you can again see the difference in size there I ordered an extension this is just a quarter inch extension in a this is metric 75 millimeter so this is a quarter inch extension which they call 6.3 millimeter and I wanted to see, you know, kind of what it was like, what the finish was like, what the, um, the connection was like. And I do like it. It's nice. It's got a nice uh, thin profile to it. Um, there's no knurling or anything on it that you can grab with your hands. That is a nice feature that like my snap-on ones have. So if I look at like one of my snap-on extensions, you see this like knurled edge here so that you can work it by your hand. Um, obviously with the spinners that becomes less relevant. Um, so if you, you know, used it in this function, you wouldn't care about the knurling. Uh, this is a socket. I picked up a 17 millimeter socket specifically because I need a thin wall 17 for my wheels on the Mini Cooper. And historically, the only socket that's really worked for me for that is my 17 millimeter Tekton socket, which is right here. It's a 3 8 drive, 17. My half inch drive 17 actually is too thick and doesn't fit in the hole but this is actually thinner than my Tekton socket. So it fits even better in my wheels. So that's pretty cool. It's still a lifetime warranted socket. Um, this is KTC Japan on it. These tools are all made in Japan. Um, and it does have like a little rubber ring around it. So if you did want to use it by hand, you do have something that you can grab onto to kind of work something out by hand. So that could be useful for when you're doing something like a lug that's a longer bolt. Obviously this is not impact rated. Um, it is a standard chrome socket. Next, I picked up two of their ratchets. This is a quarter inch NBR 290L. It comes in a package just like that. Um, this is a 90 tooth and that's what it looks like. You can see the uh, selector on the back. It does have a push button release for releasing your socket. Um, similar to like a Craftsman or a Stanley or many other ratchets. Uh, Snap-on I think is really one of the few that doesn't have the release. Um, I like the handle. It is a chrome handle. It has this uh, kind of indentation here that makes it easy to grab onto and not have your hands slip off of. 
Um, I think the finish is very, very nice. And I think that it's very easy to click back. If I compare this to my quarter inch Sonic, which is right here, feels about the same. Sonic might be a little bit easier, but it's, it's really, really close. And if I compare it to my Snap-on, I'd say it's right around the same as that as well. Um, this Snap-on ratchet I've used forever. This is honestly my favorite ratchet. I pick it up all the time. Um, but I'm going to try to use this or use the Sonic in their place and just see if I can fall in love with something a little bit different. I do like the release. Um, the release is nice when you're trying to pull a socket off and maybe you've got your hands are oily, you've got something going on, you don't have to pick up a rag and wipe your hands off. Um, you know, maybe your gloves are slipping off of it, something along those lines, especially with smaller sockets. Um, so I do like the release. The, um, the lever, selector level is, lever is low profile enough that I don't think it's going to get caught or busted on the things that are around you. And the finish is super nice. Um, on these, in this other box, I also picked up a 3 8 ratchet. Again, another Napros. This is an NBR 390 AL. And it is a, again, 90 plus, which is what that logo means. It looks like OG, but it's really 90 plus. Um, so that one's a 90. This is a, what they call a 90 plus. And this is the extended length 3 8 ratchet. It's got a pretty hefty handle on it. Um, so it really like, uh, my hands are fairly, I mean, I'd say they're reasonable size for a man, but um, you know, they're on the larger side and uh, they, you know, it fits really well. Um, it's comfortable in the hand. It does have this kind of rubberized piece on the end of it, which is a nice thing for grip. Um, again, it does have a release on the back. I like that the release on this one is flush where on this one it protrudes a little bit, and that's just because I'm sure the profile of the head didn't have the room for it to be flush. Um, but this one's flush, and it does have the selector on the back. Again, that selector is pretty low profile there, so you likely won't be able to catch it on things. Um, it's easy to click back and forth, and the action of the ratchet is pretty fine as well. Um, so. I do like this ratchet. Again, I'm gonna try using it in a couple of different circumstances. Um, in comparison to, this is my trusty, it's an FH80 snap-on ratchet. I've had this thing for, oh Jesus, maybe 12 years. Um, it has a significantly smaller head. The profile is the same, but the actual like thickness of the head you can see is, is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty large amount different. Um, so it'll definitely get into tighter places, which is nice. The overall profile of the handle is roughly the same until you get to the grip, obviously, where things change, but the neck is about the same. And, um, you know, watching multiple videos, tests, different things like that, um, these do seem to hold up really well. They're made in Japan and um, a lot of people really like them. So I was excited to try them out. Um, I picked up a couple different pieces just to kind of experience the whole set. I've got a socket, I've got an extension, I've got these spinners, which I think these spinners are just really, really cool. And I've got two different ratchets. As far as cost is concerned, something like this, about 110 bucks. This 3 8 I think was like 129. It's on the high side for, you know, the, their 3 8 This is on the high side for the Nepros line. Um, obviously it's still far less expensive than like my Snap-on that I have here. These spinners are like 30 to $35 depending on the size that you get. I think that this one is actually really cool. The one that's quarter inch drive with the three eighths on the other side. And I just, I really like the fact that you could take this, you could put it onto a socket, you can attach it to a quarter inch ratchet if you want to and you can use it like normal. And when you get to the point where the bolt is loose, you can just kind of work it with your thumb and finger like that. And you could rapidly spin a bolt off without having to, you know, drop the ratchet out and run it by hand or, you know, put your finger on it while you're kind of ratcheting it back to make it click back. These have really fine teeth. They're very easy to click back. They don't require a lot of effort to do it, but still, you can run into fasteners from time to time, especially like in an oily engine compartment where um, you know you click the, the ratchet back and it doesn't really click back. It just kind of moves the bolt both ways as you're going. And having this there makes it really easy for you to finish the bolt by hand. 
So I'm going to play with these. I'm going to see how they work. I mean, you'll see me use them in some videos. I promise that I will put in the comments below if I run into any problems with them. I don't expect to. Um, you can feel free to put in the comments your experience with Nepros or other brands that you think that I should try. Um, I do have some Sonic tools here as well. I have 3 8 quarter inch, half inch ratchets from Sonic. I do have a couple sets of their sockets and extensions. I do really like their tools as well. Um, I don't think that they're quite as good as the Nepros, but you know, I also really haven't broken any of them. Um, I just think the overall fit and finish of these is really, really nice. I mean, especially like I love my snap on stuff, but you know, the amount of wiggle that you have here, I'm going to show you a little bit better with this, like the amount of play compared to this, it's, it's pretty significant. So, you know, these snap on ratchets have never done me wrong. They've been a good tool that I've had for a long time. I'm just interested in experiencing some new things and seeing what other brands have to offer. I'm excited to play with more stuff in the Nepros line. They do have some kits that have sockets and extensions in them and, um, you know, foam inlays. Uh, so those look really cool as well. I might play with some of them. And um, I'm thinking about coming up with a service cart that I'm going to be using for uh, when I'm servicing my vehicles and doing some Nepros and other tools in there and doing foam inlays that are custom for different tools. So watch out for that in the future. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. There will be more videos. And if there are other tools that you want me to play with and test out, let me know in the comments below. Thank you and have a great day.